There are several options for provisioning HD Insight clusters. In this video clip, I'll show you how to use the hdinsight.net SDK. For other options, click one of the links. This video will go through the following topics. Before I begin, I must have an Azure subscription. I'll need the subscription ID in my program. The subscription ID can be retrieved from the management portal under Settings. Each HD Insight cluster requires at least one blob container on an Azure storage account. This blob container is used as the default file system. It's called WASB. WASB is Microsoft's implementation of HDFS on Windows Azure Blob Storage. To create a storage account, I need to specify a storage account name, location, and the replication choice. My storage account is called HDIStore0102. The storage account location must co-locate with the HD Insight cluster. Currently, the HD Insight cluster can only be hosted in five data centers, including Southeast Asia, North Europe, West Europe, East US, and West US. I select East US because it's closest to my location. Because this is a demo cluster and I like to cut down the cost, I select Local Redundant. Wait until the storage account status is online. I'll need the storage access key later in my program. Make a copy of one of the keys. Now I can create a blob container. I name the container HDI0102. I'll use the same name for my HD Insight cluster so it's easier for me to track. I keep the access to be private for better security. My program will need a management certificate for Azure. Many people use a certificate creation tool called makecert.exe. I find it easier to use a set of Azure PowerShell commandlets. Open PowerShell ISE. Run get Azure publish settings file to download a settings file. Notice the file name embeds today's date. The certificate friendly name will be the same as the file name. Run Import Azure Publish Settings file to import the certificate. I can check the certificate from Certificate Manager. It's under the Personal Certificate folder. Make a copy of the friendly name. I'll need it in my program. Open Visual Studio. The version I have is Visual Studio 2013. You can use other versions. The interface can be a little different. Create a C-sharp console application. Open Package Manager console to install the hdinsight.net SDK NuGet package. Notice several references are added to the project. Now I'm ready to write the code. First, I add some using statements for handling certification and cluster provisioning. Next, I define some constant variables. The first two are the certificate friendly name and my subscription ID. I've shown you how to get them earlier in the video. The rest of the constants are the parameters needed for the new cluster. I'm creating an HD Insight cluster version 3.0, which is Hadoop version 2.2. Because this is a demo, I'm creating a cluster with only one node. There is an up limit for each subscription. You must contact Microsoft support to increase the limit. The location must match the storage account location. I also need to specify the username and the password for the cluster user account. Provide the HD Insight cluster storage account information. 
I created the storage account and the blob container earlier in the video. I've also shown you how to retrieve the storage account key. These lines of code create an X509 Certificate 2 object. I retrieve the certificate using the friendly name. I created the storage account and the container using the Azure Management Portal. Optionally, I can also use the .NET SDK. I list the links where you can find the information. Create an HD Insight Client object. Create a cluster create parameters object with the parameters needed by a cluster. I can specify more parameters such as additional storage accounts for business data, metastores for Hive and Uzi, and so on. Finally, I call the create cluster method to create the cluster. It's a synchronized call. I'll display the connection URL to the screen. Run the program. It takes a few moments to create the cluster. I can actually see the status from the management portal. The cluster has been created successfully. This concludes this video presentation. For more information on HD Insight, search the keyword HD Insight on azure.microsoft.com. Thank you for watching.